Boom. What up? Uh, welcome back to Coach Murphy's Mathematics. No crying. Um, <clears throat> today, we're going to dive into dividing polynomials the long way and the synthetic way. Now, you're probably thinking, how in the world is he going to make this interesting? I'm not. I, I mean, it's dividing polynomials. I mean, what, what do you want me to do? I, mean, I can bring Declan in here. You know, and he could probably make it interesting. Uh, but we got to be on that math grind, right? 24-7, 365, right? Declan's on that grind. He's on that grind all day today. Um, so let's just get into it, uh, do some examples. You guys have the notes. Work on the work. So dividing polynomials. All right, so you remember before we did dividing polynomials by a monomial, right? And we had something like 6x to the fourth minus 15x to the third plus 3x squared. We divided that by 3x squared, right? And we just divided each of these. So we did 3 divided by 6. And then for x, it was 4 minus 2. And then we did negative 15 divided by 3. I'm sorry, this was, right, it's been a long day. Uh, 3 minus 2 plus 3 divided by 3x, 2 minus 2, right? So we were left with 2x squared minus 5x, hold on, minus 5x plus 1, right? And that is when we divide polynomials by binomials, okay? So you guys remember that. You guys did okay on that. Um, nothing too crazy, All right? Now, now we're going to get into dividing polynomials by a binomial, okay? So we have w squared minus 7w plus 10 divided by w minus five and you're like what it's awesome like this coronavirus and the school shutting down is hit at like a difficult time i think in general but in like math we're getting like the really hard concepts um but you know we're gonna we're gonna grind we're gonna get through it we're gonna get through it together so first thing we have to do is <clears throat> we need to factor the numerator right we need to factor the numerator so we have to figure out right what two numbers right what two numbers add up to negative 7 and multiply to positive 10. anybody anybody wow it's ironic i get the same exact response when we're in class uh it's negative 5 and negative 2. good job me so we then have w minus 5 times w minus 2 and we divide that right now we can go ahead and cancel that out right and that will leave us with what do we have left w minus 2 right so we're always going to factor right that top one okay now let's take a look at sorry i keep getting notifications uh just super popular um let's take a look at what we do if factoring is not possible, right? So we have we have x squared plus 3x minus 43, and that is divided by x plus 8. Okay? Now what do we do? I don't know. It's crazy. First thing we do. Method one, 
long division. I know you guys love long division. Right? I don't even know what method they teach long division in anymore. But, so, take this. We put it outside our box. Who remembers that? Right? X squared plus 3x minus 43. You're like, what? What? How? What? What in the world do I do? It's a really, really, really good question. Um, we see how many times x plus 8 will go into 3x, right? We're going to x squared plus 3x, right? So, we end up with having x squared plus 8x, right? We subtract that. And we end up with negative 5x minus 43, right? Because only the x can go in there, right? So then x times that, we get that right there, right? Next thing we do, right? See how many times x plus 8 will go into... How many times does x go into there? Right? It goes in there negative 5 times. Right? Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 8 is negative 40, leaving us with negative 3. I like that's cool. What does that even mean? That's our answer. Remember, this is our remainder, right? So what we have left is x minus 5 minus 3 over this right here, which is x plus 8. Yeah, super awesome, right? Um, so that's the first method, right? Now, we have another method. This is the synthetic division method. Okay, so method two. Synthetic division. Okay, so once again, we have our x squared minus 3x minus 43 divided by x plus 8. I know, super exciting. I'm excited, you're excited, we're all excited. I mean, you guys want to tune in and watch this. Um, boy, yeah, this is fun. So, we take out negative 8, right? Okay. We then look at each one. There's a 1 there. There's a 3 there. There's negative 43 there. Right? So we put 1. That's a positive 3, sorry. 3, negative 43. Okay? We then take negative 8. Put that right there. We then take 40, put that there, drop everything down. It's 1, which is x, negative 5, negative 3. So we get x minus 5 minus 3, x plus 8. Right? So we can do it that way. Seems like fun, right? No, yes, maybe. Uh, so you guys have examples on that? And both ways are difficult, right? No one way is better than the other. You can pick and choose. Um, any questions? I'll be in the chat tomorrow. Hope this helps with the worksheet. And uh, yeah. Have fun with it. Make it your own.